Jury deliberations start tomorrow in the child pornography case of Chris Zacco, the person of interest in last year's disappearance of Kelly Dwyer. 12 News reporter Nick Bohr is live at the courthouse tonight where the defense just rested their case. And Nick, did Zacco take the stand at all? No, Craig, he did not testify, even though his defense really hinges on the jury uh, believing his honesty. Zacco saying that, uh, admitting, in fact, that the uh, data found on a drive in his apartment is child pornography, some of it even involving toddlers, but his contention is he didn't know it was there. I've been there before. The disappearance of Kelly Dwyer a year ago is a subtext of this trial, but she hasn't been mentioned once. Instead, the so-called person of interest in her disappearance, Chris Zacco, is here because of child pornography police found on a computer hard drive in his apartment while searching for clues about Dwyer. Late today, his defense attorney moved to dismiss, saying there's not enough evidence to prove Zacco knew the child porn was there. Aside from the fact of the possession of the hard drive itself, can't establish uh, that Mr. Zacco uh, is the person or the uh, individual, I guess, who uh, would have downloaded from other, some other source. But the prosecutor successfully argued that the case should not be dismissed and the jury should have the chance to decide. The defendant was the sole occupant of that residence. Uh, there, the state is proceeding on a theory of possession of child pornography, not on a theory of accessing child pornography. Later, Zacco's defense attorney called a forensic IT expert who said Zacco's claim that the files made it onto his hard drive without his knowledge was possible, and under questioning said he couldn't find any evidence that Zacco ever downloaded child porn or tried to hide it. Did it appear to you that anybody had tried to hide those files, either through encryption techniques or file changing or name changing of files or anything like that? No. And jurors will return here tomorrow morning. They'll hear closing arguments and then begin deliberations. So we could have a verdict by tomorrow afternoon. If convicted of all 17 counts of possession of child pornography, Zaka could face more than 50 years in prison. Live here at the courthouse, Nick Ford, WISN 12 News. Right, thanks, Nick. Zaka was also facing drug charges during the search. Police say they found cocaine and marijuana. He's facing three felonies and two misdemeanors, including maintaining a drug trafficking place. And there is a hearing in that case scheduled for tomorrow. Again, Zacco was the last person to see Kelly Dwyer more than a year ago when Zacco was first arrested. Police say he admitted to doing cocaine with Dwyer a couple of times a week. Dwyer's family has been in many of Zacco's court hearings, including this trial.